Well, that big surf peaking tonight and then we'll be coming down a bit tomorrow, but still very huge. So 30 to 40 footers. That is the peak that'll happen this evening. 20 to 25 for West Shores. High surf warnings in effect it includes the Big Island. So Big Island could see waves up to 16 feet there. So big waves for the Big Island as well. You don't always get these swells, but you'll see some impacts both the West Shores and the Windward Shore small craft advisories for those offshore waters. Now, of course, with these big waves, we see run up on the shoreline. So if you, you have wet sand near you or over you, you want to back up. You want to give yourself a lot of distance between you and those water edge because it's going to be very dangerous. Even tomorrow as waves come down, they're still going to be 20 to 30 for Aloha Friday, 10 to 16 for West. We're expecting our winds to shift north to northeast, so a little bit better wind profile for surfers that want to actually try to ride these. But we're not advising that to most people. Obviously, you need to be very experienced, know your limits if you are heading on out. We've got a frontal boundary over the Big Island. That heads down to the south. Mostly dry conditions, Oahu and Kauai. A couple of leftover showers possible for Maui, but the best chance of rain will be the Big Island. We're expecting some scattered showers there for your Aloha Friday, while the rest of us starts to clear on out. As we head into the weekend, we've got breezy winds ahead. Northeast winds at 10 to 25, gust up to 30 at times. We'll keep it breezy through the weekend into our President's Day on Monday.